So, I thought I'd do this video because I couldn't find any information online and I had a bit of a headache for a couple of days and someone gave me a hand and I'm going to put this video on YouTube because there is no video on YouTube showing how to fit a K-Pro board onto a PRA ECU. I'm not sure if it's this works on any other ECUs but I'm going to show you what you need to do on this ECU. So, the board is fitted now already because I and tested I've tested it works so I'm going to show you what you need to do to install this board on here I need to do some modifications so just to make it look nicer and everything but it is working so obviously take the lid off um, remove all the screws that you see on the bottom um, which is one two three four five six seven seven screws so once you remove that last seventh screw remove this here as well there's one screw here and that will come loose right now your board will just lift off and that's it so here's the board let's put that to the side and i'll show you now what you need to do to to fit this ecu this capo on right so let's lift off the capo just bare board so here's your K-Pro, don't need to touch that, just need to fit it on. So on the PCB, what do you need to do? So, uh, let me see if I... Where are we? Right, see that zero on there? That 223 resistor there, I have fitted it on there. So right in its place before there was a zero ohm resistor, which I took out and I fitted this 223 on there. Oh shit. Well, my bad. I will use a tweezer or something to show you. Where are we? So that guy in here, right on top, this one, 223 needs to be replaced with, well not, there's a zero, originally there's a zero there, so you need to put a 223 um, resistor. Which, so the zero one needs to come out. Not that one, but the one that was there. And then, the zero that you remove from there, you need to put here. On J250, so either that, or you can bridge it with a blob of solder. But I decided to put the, the zero there. So remove the zero from the place where the 223 is now and put it in J250 and fit the 223 on there that's about all you need to do for com components re replacements or bridges or anything like that after well you do need some bridges or in this case some links which is what I will be modifying now so as you can see this is what I want to change because I don't like it, it's a bit sketchy the cable that they gave me was a bit short so I want to replace it so it's a bit hard to see what's going on here but this is the link that you need to do and there's this one as well so that one here connects to this side and the one on this side which is this side here will connect to here but what I suggest is following Honda Vert's installation which is exactly the same as this one and I can confirm it works and yeah that's pretty much all you need to do other than also having to add these here so you have to use the solder sucker um, empty the holes they're filled with solder which is actually probably the hardest bit of this whole thing because they're ground pads here on a couple for example this last one is a ground pad it was really hard to take that out but yeah empty all the holes out fit the the pins in then solder them and you also need to do that one as well you need to remove the solder open the hole up and fit that one in and that's about it 
So hopefully this is any use to someone. Um, and yeah, like and hopefully subscribe and give me all that feedback. Cheers.